Bro, I had somebody comment on my last guide video on the Gato stuff. And somebody was like, yo, if Ma if Maximilian dude could bring back Marvel versus Capcom 2, you could bring back Bloody Roar. And I'm like, bro, I mean, like, I appreciate the thought, but it's about to be eight years. I've been doing content on Bloody Roar. Nothing's, nothing's happened. Bro, I don't, and plus, I don't, I didn't say this to them. I, like, I genuinely do appreciate that sentiment, but it's like, there were people that liked that comment. And I'm like, 15 of you could probably be, like, chucking my videos to these big-ass FGC people. Like, if y'all really, like, I already, I have the content. The material is there. The information is there. The passion is there. The tournament runs are there. Everything is there. No one is fucking pushing it, bruh. Everybody knows about Bloody Roar. Yes, it's always going to be underground. Yes, it's not going to be as big as Tekken and Street Fighter or whatever. The but it's very well known. You guys know about it. Everyone knows about it. Even the they, them, furry, Sonic Fox. Okay? Everyone knows about it, bruh, but no one's fucking pushing it. And that's why the reason why I haven't let go of Bloody Roar yet, in some in some capacity to some extent, is because I know the moment Konami drops Bloody Roar returning at a Nintendo Direct randomly, or they drop a post on Twitter, everybody gonna be on it. Every big FGC is gonna be talking about it, and I'm gonna be moved on from it. But then there's gonna be people talking about Bloody Roar like they know what the fuck they're talking about when they don't know what the yeah, they're talking yeah. about. So that's then I'm really good so, so then I might have to step back into it. And then like it's just gonna be weird, bro. So like, and I don't, I don't want, I don't want to feel like that. I don't want to feel and like you that. Know, you know they're gonna like release something half-assed anyway, officially. <coughs> and if and that's when they thing. do, that's that's another thing that's possible. Hey, if they're not doing it through the proper channels, where it's gonna guarantee it's gonna be the best it can be. Yeah. And it's gonna leave a bad taste in people's mouths my, anyway, especially people playing it for the first time. Here's my They're thing. They're gonna go, oh, this game sucks. Yeah, yeah. No it, wonder it, it wasn't very good. Yeah, yeah. It's like, no, 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 it's a bad version of the game. Yeah, and that's the that's yeah. the thing, too. Not only does it depend on, like, the quality of a, a hypothetical re-release or, like, a new game, whether it's a sequel or a soft reboot or whatever, if there is that are bigger than me, far bigger than me playing it, bruh. Because a lot of these fighting games, there's Lord Knight, Maximilian Dude, Justin Wong, uh uh sonic fox um i can't think of any other ones right now but like if they put their hands on bloody roar they don't understand it and they say that it's bad that could put a bad image on the name on the brand and oh yeah i'm not gonna let that shit slide obviously i'm gonna try to keep it polite and uh civil in terms of discussion but Bro, I've kind of drove myself crazy doing content on this goddamn dormant franchise for, for eight years now. Like, it, it, to the point where, at some point, I depended on it for my livelihood, bro. That's a crazy. Make it work for you, then. Hey, Konami just got hit me up, bro. That's it. They got a, they got a free Bloody Roar poster boy right here, bro. I'm 26. I still got time. I'm not sure they. I'm not sure they really understand what they have. <laughs> In the importance of um, potentially bringing it back and bringing it back correctly.